Scotland's now generating nearly 100% of its energy from renewable sources, very close to, to that at the moment. That's quite an achievement with one hand tied behind your back, isn't it? It's a fantastic achievement. It was a target that was initially set and said it couldn't be met. But the Scottish government were doing that well. They actually increased their target to the 100,000 renewable energy uh, generation by 2020. We only marginally missed it, 97%, but was what we achieved, which is as good as hitting the target. And as you say, that's one hand tied behind our back because in 2015, the Tory government pulled the plug on onshore wind generators being able to apply for the contracts for different options. So that it was, was the same time they pulled the plug on the carbon capture storage uh, at Peterhead, a billion pound betrayal of Peterhead. Sorry, carry on. Yes, you're absolutely right. They betrayed Peterhead. And these are the things the UK government always talk about being world leaders. And they're not, it's just a phrase they use. And they could have been world leading carbon capture and storage. We could have that up and running at Peterhead. It's now pleasing to see the SSE and Equinor think they can make that plan work. But that basically we've been set back years and years, and that's because of either inaction, unambition from the UK government, or just Treasury meddling, because that's what happened with the carbon capture. Treasury just pulled the plug. As you rightly say, even if you get going now with it, what we've lost, and and this is critical years in terms of climate change, um, we've lost six, seven, eight years, maybe nine years, ten years, in terms of where we could have been um, as to where it will be, uh, and we don't even know what the scale of that is going to be. So if a different choice had been made to continue that, as was promised, I think this was a big promise during the 2014 independence referendum, and then it was pulled away in 2015. If a different promise, if that promise had been kept, we could have been much further ahead. Much further ahead, and uh, there have been made huge inroads into the just transition for the oil and gas sector. So we've been further ahead in climate change. Part of the just transition would have been accelerated, and importantly, we'd have our own expertise, knowledge that would then be exported to other countries who are following certain carbon capture and storage. So it realised a wasted opportunity that. They didn't save a billion pounds by pulling that money. They've actually cost money, and we could have, that that money could have been regenerated in terms of our export potential. Well, you, you talk about exports. Obviously, I've got an interest there being, because I cover international trade for the SNP at Westminster. But one of our big exports, is, of course, is renewable energy. That's uh, something we we do quite a lot. Of. If we had more pump storage and other ways of storing the energy and, and investing in these, we'd be able to do much more. But of course, that's been in the hands of Westminster, such as the pump storage uh, facility you were talking about. Um, but of course, we can export a lot more into the future. This could be a really valuable asset for us if we, once we get the chance to make our choice about our future and if we become independent, this could be a real uh, big thing for us, couldn't it? And it's a key thing about independence and the full levers of power. You can make the decision and go for it. So, as you said, we've had one hand tied behind our back. So, Westminster can meddle, chop and change options. The forced nuclear on us, which as I said is four or five times the, the, the cost of renewables. And then the, let's not forget the unfair grid charging system, mm-hmm. where yeah. at the moment the locational charges for Scottish generators up in the north is the highest geographical connection charges anywhere in Europe. So that also makes it harder for companies in Scotland to compete with companies down in the south of England when they're bidding a competitive auction. So it's another, actually, both hands tied behind my back. It's incredible. And just finally on that point, it's actually another hidden subsidy for Hinkley Point C nuclear power station because they get paid to connect to the grid, whereas we're paying to connect to the grid. So it really is unfair all round. 